Did you know that you can actually get data queried straight in from a web page? So the ECA is published by the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is the website. Copy that URL. We'll come into Excel. Data get and transform from the web. Say what URL are you looking at? We'll pull it through what, what we're looking at now. Right here, we see the next ECI June 2023 is going to be released, not for another few more days. And we can see that we're up 4.8% in March over the prior year. On Excel, we put that URL in. It gave us this box back. Different tables will show up. This is the table we're interested in. Sometimes there's metadata tables that aren't going to do us any good. We scroll all the way down. There's that 4.8% in private industry in March 23 that we saw on the website. So beautiful. We could just load the data and be happy, but we can take it another step. So we'll click Transform Data. This will bring up the Power Query Editor. We don't care about government, so we can right click remove. On this month, let's say we really want to see 331 2006 instead of Mar 2006. So the first thing we'll do is we see that there's three characters in March, four in June, four in September, three in December. So let's standardize it. We'll go to the transform, go replace values. So where you find a June, just give me a JUN. Looks good. We'll do it one more time for SEP. So we find SEPT, just give me an SEP. And now we can add a column and we'll do a column from example. So from the selection, I've highlighted the month. So I'll say add a column from, base it on the month column. And you just start typing what you want. So here I said I want 3, 31, 2006. And so it says, hey, I think that's where you're headed. It's either the end of the month from the month column. Again, the month right here would be March 26th or the end of the quarter from the month column. You're gonna give the same thing, but since it is a quarterly report, we'll just select end of quarter from month. And then we hit tab and it says, hey, I think this is how I would extrapolate your pattern. So December 21, 12, 31, 2021. Beautiful, we say, okay. Now we probably want this to be at the beginning of the table if we wanted to do a VLOOKUP. So we can just drag it over there. We don't have much use for month anymore. We remove it. The Power Query is tracking every single thing that we do here. And it's kind of like a macro. So we'll home, close and load. It'll bring that data into our spreadsheet we can format it as a percentage a couple of decimals there's that 4.8 we wanted just to show that this is live data from that website delete refresh pops in and as soon as that june 30th number is available it'll pop in right here on row 71. 